Hi, my name is Andrew Yu. I went to Purdue University as a health science major with a minor in biology and psychology. Uh, throughout my university, I was a teaching assistant for anatomy and physiology for two years. I've also taught uh, general sciences privately, uh, so biology, chemistry, and physics as well throughout my time studying. And right now I am an instructor at Briggs Academy with focusing on biology. And this is to give you a brief outline of what the Biology Olympiad is, what type of questions, what students should look forward to, how to study it, et cetera. So first, a brief overview of what is the Biology Olympiad, and it has three rounds. So round one is an open exam, which has 50 multiple choice questions. And the top 10% of the people who take it then move on to the semifinal, whereas the top 20 and 30% will get certificates or awards. Now, this exam is very much like the AP Biology exam, where they just ask, what is this? And you pick A, B, C, or D. And so to study for this, it's going to be very much like a typical AP Bio or College Biology type of lecture. Now, the semifinal, so those that move on from the open exam to the semifinal, partake in a 120 minute exam. It's a three part exam where we have multiple choice, true and false and short answer essay type questions. Now these types of questions, when I looked at it, it's very similar to a graduate school biology exam. So it's a much higher level in terms of what they're asking. And it's not going to be the same as a typical multiple choice, pick, pick this type of question. It requires more thinking, more overall picture uh, analysis of the questions. And similar to open exam, only the top 10 from this will then move on to the finals. Now the final is a 12 day session where they instruct for 10 days and then they test for two days. And here they have laboratory and conceptual understanding what that they test for. So the practical is a laboratory based skill, whereas theoretical is again another exam type focus. So here they try to make you, they test you as like a researcher essentially. They give you a research problem and they want you to see how would you solve it. And th this is where you need to then mix and recall all the knowledge you have in biology and then all the practical knowledge that you gain during this 10 days to solve a problem. Now, the mission and goal of the USA BO is that as a premier high school biology student competition worldwide, we aim to identify, inspire, empower, and support the next generation of leaders in the life sciences and to develop their international network. So it's a very big, since it's a very large competition, you're going to meet a lot of people. However, I think this is the most accurate in terms of the educational purpose and to challenge and stimulate the students to expand their talents and to promote their future career as scientists. So studying for the USABO is really trying to make you into a very competent uh, biological scientist. They treat it like as if you're a doctor and they give you a list of problems. They wanna see, can you solve the unknowns that we currently have in biology? Because of that, those that want to take the USABO should be highly motivated. This is not just like I take a test, I get a good grade, and I'm finished. No, you can't just uh, force your way into getting a good score in the USABO, as the questions really require you to do much more deeper thinking. So because of that, you should enjoy biological sciences. Uh, those that studied AP Biology will be a benefit. However, if you're motivated and you would like the biologies, then this isn't something that is a hard requirement um, because this is something that we can teach you regardless. But I would say a big correlation, whether that you will succeed here or not, is that you want to pursue academic research. As you saw in the finals, the exam is very much a research-based test. So problem solving. Of course, I'm not saying that just because you are did well in the USABO, you should become a researcher. It's just that there's very tight, there's very big links between doing academic research to the final exam of the USAPO. So, to, so for those who are interested in this, we will be teaching skills on how to answer the open exam. And for those that move on, we would of course focus more on then 
looking at the bigger picture of the questions and how to solve them.